Hey, good morning. We're back here at Liberty Seamless and we're excited to give you a training video today on our DSEL23, which is our two by three downspout elbow machine combo. Let me just go through some of the basics first so you can see what we have. You can see here the cylinder for the shear. Now this can be pneumatic or it can be hydraulic. This one is pneumatic. The uh, four different areas for crimping for this set is set up for an A elbow now. We can adjust the depth for the top and the two sides with these adjustment screws. And it has a hydraulic push then for each side of the blades for the elbows. When we switch to a B elbow, we will replace these and change for the B elbow. We also have a hydraulic end crimper. After you make your elbow machine or your downspout machine, you can crimp the end here just so it can slide into another piece. So uh, let's look at a few more details of this machine. This machine comes with a runout table for the downspout to receive the downspout when you are in downspout mode. When you are not in downspout mode, you can just slide it out of the way. This is all set up with our computer controller. And when you turn our computer controller on, you can go through all the different screens for the downspout and the elbow. And I'll explain a few of these screens here for you today. Once the main screen comes up, just press the touch screen. You're gonna find boot screen and you're gonna find right here we're on the main screen, which is speed detection. So at the entrance of the downspout machine, there's a sensor to let you know if there is material in the machine. And that's that sensor right there. So the machine will not run in automatic mode if you do not have the have material uh, being sensed there. We have the left cylinder, the right cylinder, uh, all the different ones that we have here, manual mode, auto mode, etc. So let's go through the parameter settings. When you go through the parameter settings, you would set up the length. 10 feet is 3,100 millimeters, and you can set the number of pieces that you want here. Let's say you want 200 pieces. You would enter that there. Um, then for, that is mode one, which is the linear mode, which is downspout. Mode two is the A elbow. And with the A elbow, when you set the parameters, your first uh, measurement is the length of the pipe before the first crimp. The second is how long is the distance between the crimps, how many bends or crimps will it make, and how long post crimp will it run until it cuts off. So you could set up however many A elbows you want to make, and it would make those A elbows. Um, mode three, you can see, is the B elbow mode. So mode three, again, goes 75 millimeters, 22 millimeters in between crimps, and all these can be changed. But you should remember what is the factory settings, and all, always get back to the factory settings. Let's go to the manual screen. In the manual screen, if I turn the pump oil, the oil pump on, the hydraulic unit will continue. So, uh, this here is the up and the down and up and turn. So, when I press this, it's going to take the top cylinder on the A elbow and move that cylinder out. That's this right here, okay? And when I and when I press up, it's going to take that back. So I will show you what happens when I press the up upper cylinder out and back. So, watch this. Okay, down, I press out and return. Now, if I, this is the servo inching transmission, which will jog that forward. If I press that, it'll go forward a little bit. Now then, watch this. I will do that. Jog it forward. Now I can jog it back with this button. Okay, so you can see that. When you have the A elbow dies in, do not press the down, which is this cylinder here, to go out, okay? 
because on the inside you have that die and this block will go up and hit that. Do not do that, okay? So, uh, but you can do the left and the right, okay? And you can, and then the tube, okay? This is for the tube out and back. Let's see what this is. That's for the something you're in, okay? Just pressing that there. This is manual mode. We have the left cutting cylinder and the right cutting for the cylinder. And I can just hit cut off by pressing this button and they will both operate. So watch this. Okay, so I turn that. Now I will jog that out a little bit. And then there's my piece. I can pick right out from there. Okay, a very nice cut. And then if I stick it in here, I can manually hit the button for the tube out. And I have a nice four corner crimp. So that's how it is. So that's how it is on manual mode. And then you can go to the automatic mode. So if we go back to the main screen, we go from manual to automatic. And on automatic, you can actually make your elbows, okay? You can see here that we are in A mode, not downspout or linear mode, and not B mode. We have feed detection, which means it detects the material in, and we have the left cylinder and the right cylinder in their home position. Okay, so uh, you can do this in English or in Chinese. And um, so I think we can, um, let's go to, it has our counting on how many pieces are right here. And if we reset, re resets the parameters. Okay, and let's go back to the parameters. We are in A mode. And we're going to make, uh, let's just make a couple downspouts, or a couple A elbows. So we put to two pieces, go back to the main screen. We're in auto, and let's hit start. To load your coil, you load your coil up on this center spool, or you can have an independent decoiler come in and circle around here and feed back into our entrance. Now, on this entrance, it has a side guide on each side, which helps to straighten the material. We have a hand crank to get initially moving in, and then it goes through these rollers here which puts the flange on each side and you need to get it up past this sensor here which is the metal sensor and then your uh, electronics will work on the machine so let's get that going
adjust the size when you loosen the main nut and then move that about a quarter of a turn. Yep. And then tighten the main locking nut back up. Okay. So we're doing the other side. Loosen the main nut. Slight turn. Press the reset button. If you would like more information on our DSEL 2x3, 3x3, or 3x4, feel free to get a hold of us at libertyseamless.com or call 814-326-4121. We would be glad to help you to get the kind of machines that you need.